how to automate social media posts with AI. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys everything you need to know about AI automation in social media. Because if you're trying to be an influencer or if you just want your feed to be aesthetic and cohesive, using AI can help you in doing so. So we have a tool called Make, and Make is a tool which allows you to connect multiple applications and instead of having to post manually on every individual social media platform like Instagram, Facebook, Facebook page, Twitter, Reddit, you can do it all in one. Plus, it allows you to visualize everything you do. You can create without limits. You can take ideas, build execution, and you have so many different tools available readily at your hands, uh, which allow you to easily execute any of your ideas. So if you're trying to do like a surprise product launch, or if you're trying to do like a soft launch of a new item, then these tools are gonna help you in building amazing flows for your social media accounts. So let's get started. So to get started, we're gonna click on get started for free on make.com. Once we click on get started for free, we're going to sign up using Google, Facebook, GitHub, or our name and email address. I am going to be using Google for a quick sign up. This is on your personal preference on what you wanna do. I am just gonna be going with Google. Click on sign up over here, led to our next page. And in our next page, we're going to be adding our organizational information on make.com, their AI solution. So let's just wait for this to be added. Now, once we do that, we're going to proceed with adding our social media accounts. Now, in your organization, you will see you have organizations, then you have teams, scenarios, templates, connections, and connections are your most important part. So you're going to go into connections over here. And once you go into connections, you can click on open scenario builders. Once you open up the scenario builder from there, you can build all the scenarios. It's going to take all the applications you would need. Then you can integrate those applications and then easily be able to post simultaneously, launch products, launch, you know, newsletters and do so much more. So we're going to open up our scenario builder. And once we do that, we're going to build a simple scenario. Even if you want to build something as simple as a content calendar, you can do that as well. Now you will see it's very visual, so it's really easy for you to use. So you can search for apps or modules. Let's say I want to use Google Sheets or OpenAI and I want to post something on Instagram or whatever it might be. I am going to go into scenarios first and we're going to get started with a new one. And I'm just going to name this my sample scenario. And I'm just going to search for a couple of different ones. Now we have Instagram for business. We have Instapage. And then on the bottom right, we have an AI assistant. So you can find templates. You can build scenarios, ask it questions. So show me an example blueprint. So it's going to uh, take uh, a example scenario and it's going to show me how scenarios are built. And I can even ask it to build a specific type of scenario for me. And it's going to do that. So it has things like uh, make academy, make courses, create bullet clients, create barcodes, make plans for your Google Calendar. Now for this, I want to go with a simple Instagram one and I want to get media, download media, uh, create a carousel post or create a real post, let's say. Now, once I add the first thing, I'm going to click on create a connection and this is our Facebook connection. We're going to click on save. A new tab is going to pop up where you're going to have to log in to your Instagram or to your Facebook account. And then from your Facebook account, you're going to be logging in to your Instagram account. This can help you in not only posting on one platform, but you can post on multiple platforms simultaneously by connecting them all together and in one simple scenario. So our connection is being created and this is our Facebook connection. From there, you guys can see it has taken my page and then the video URL. Now for the video URL, it has the video requirements for that are listed for Instagram and we have a bunch of different functions. You can post this video on your Google Drive. You can also search for items you can fill by AI. Personally, for Instagram content, it's going to be uh, very easy for you to upload on Google Drive and we can add multiple different modules in one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this visually over here. And as my Facebook reel gets posted, I also want to post something on X, which is Twitter or, you know, Reddit. I can just search for that. I have X and then I want to create a post. 
and I'm going to click on create a connection. I can create my connection, which I'm going to be doing later on. Then from there, if I want to monitor the insights of both my Instagram and my Twitter post, I can then create another connection. So we're going to click on the plus icon over here and we're going to build another module and we're going to go into tools and we can actually get analytics. So we want to go into X and we want to actually we don't have options for analytics on X, but we do have analytics options on Instagram. I'm fairly sure of that. We can go into condition, add an end rule like so. Now, this is just one AI tool. I'm going to ask it to not edit the scenario. Let's build a new scenario with the help of AI. I think that's going to work a bit better. My current scenario is a bit more like a content calendar. We're going to use AI to build something a bit more interesting. So I'm going to ask the AI to build a scenario for me to get analytics on my insta post and send out emails for every new insta post like this and now depending on my type of query it's going to understand it and it's going to build the scenario steps itself and then my instagram is already connected i'm not going to have to reconnect this over and over again and we will be able to see it on the left so currently it's preparing the blueprint for us. We can customize this. We can even use different accounts. So if you have more than one business account, so Instagram for business login. And now it has built the basic draft for me. So we have the media ID and then we have the email. And then in this, the value must not be empty. It should have the metrics added. So this is my Facebook Instagram for business connection. And I'm just going to space this out so you guys can visually see what it looks like. So Instagram for business page limit the maximum number of results to be worked with during one execution cycle. So 10 posts at once. And then we have the metrics. So I want to select all the metrics and I'm going to click on save and I can choose the media ID. So the media ID is going to be any media that I want to search from my Instagram account. And then after that, once we do that, we can see these like, let's say I only want impressions. We can select that. Click on search. And once we click on search, we're going to click on OK. It's going to select our media and we can proceed. So we're going to click on OK like this. And then after that, we can send out emails as well. So just like that, you can build some amazing automations using the make.com AI tool, not only for your social media tools, but also for your basic team management and your personal time management tools as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.